this one. Uh, I'm going to try to do the sales tax video again, brother. Uh, Are you sure you're going to be okay? Yeah, man. I, uh, you know, I talk to the therapist a lot. I think I've really gotten my anger under control. And, uh, did I? I don't think it was that bad. Was it? What's going on everybody? I'm Kevin with Custom Night Vision and today we're going to talk about sales tax. I tried to do this video a couple weeks ago. We had some technical difficulties. God damn it. They tax me on things I buy. They tax me on things I sell. They tax me on things I own. They tax me when I die. Has the whole world gone crazy? Does nobody give a fuck about the rules anymore? The interdimensional child molesters are taking my kids' education money, and I'm going to do something about it right now. Before I talk about that, I want to do some housekeeping and answer some very frequently asked questions. First, how does handpicking work, the, the whole process? So when you go on our website and you select handpick for a device, be it inventory or in the custom builder, you're not locked into whatever I decide. Like I'm going to contact you via text message after I select tubes and I'm going to send you pictures through those tubes with pictures of the data sheet for your approval. So I send this to you before I start to construct your device. You have the ability to say like, hey, I was looking for lower EBI, high in SNR, whatever. As long as it's in within the parameters of what you paid for, then you know, I'll look for a different set of tubes if I have them. Second, people often ask uh, about service, sending things in for repairs or having us uh, build your unit with parts you source yourself. I'm still getting a lot of units without any information in the box. No note, no description of what you want done, what the problems are or any contact information for the sender. Typically the labels don't even have the name on them. So please, I don't want mystery night vision units here. And I can't believe that people have the blind faith to send night vision through the mail and just expect to get it back with no return information. Okay, so anyway, now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna talk about sales tax. If you are a frequent shopper on our website, you may have noticed that we recently started collecting sales tax. I'm gonna touch a little bit about how the market works before I talk about us specifically. There are a lot of smaller retailers that do not charge sales tax for a couple reasons. Uh, one, to be more competitive, and two, because they fall within, with below the nexus threshold, I assume, uh, in several states. So they're kind of off the radar. However, they still may get audited. These smaller companies may not have the cash to cover a large audit. If they're found to owe sales tax in certain states, they're going to pay that sales tax that they owe, plus a penalty. So this, creates obviously a problem with uh, their solvency. Some companies offer very lofty warranties. If they are put out of business because of illegal operation or uh, government fines, then the warranty that you were promised is null and void. There's no, no longer anyone to fulfill that warranty should you need to use it. That takes me to uh, my original point. Here at Custom Night Vision, we made the hard decision to start charging sales tax because we wanna be around. We really wanna be a pillar in this night vision community for both transparency, uh, customer service, and information for you, the potential customer or current customer. Nobody hates sales tax more than I do, just taxes in general. Um, so, you know, we just felt it incumbent on us to give you an explanation of why we're doing that. If you have any questions about anything we talked about in today's video, please feel free to contact us uh, either the phone, our phone numbers on our website, through any of our social medias, or via the live chat on our website. Thank you for watching. Y'all have a great day.